guys, today is the D day and uh, we have finished to arrange the house where the visitors are going to be received. They shower and eat from here before they move on to the other room where they will be negotiating form. So let me show you guys where we receive them and then I also show you the room where they will be negotiating from and also show you the tent where they will be sleeping from. So let's get into it. So guys, this is the room where it's a bit dark so let me first show a bit from outside and then we go in so here is where we shall receive the visitors we have laid some mats down there the ladies will sit down and then the gents will be on those chairs and then this side we have some mattresses here when it's time for sleeping they will sleep outside the other ten but actually naturally when they come to marry there's no sleeping, so let me show you where the tent where they're going to sleep from. So, guys, that is the tent where our in laws will be sleeping. So, they will decide whether the women sleep in the hut, the men sleep under the tent, or the men sleep under the like that. So, they know what they're going to do. We'll just give them some mattresses. You can see we have already laid down some papyrus mats just in case, but the mattresses will be brought here in this. And guys, that is the hut where we have arranged to receive the dowry from. Some brothers will sit outside here as bodyguards and then others will be inside. Like you can see, we are dedicating the house to the God, to God. Everything in the function dedicated to the hands of God. Where you're seeing the chairs is where our people will be. Then where there are no chairs is where the in-laws will sit. They're supposed to sit down, not on chairs, even as the girls. We will sit down, not on chairs. So as we are praying, the in-laws are getting ready to come in the house. At this point, our bride is ready. She's just glowing, put on her gomosi, her makeup on point, just ready for Friday night for her husband to come and pay her bride price. And pew, she's off to get good. At this point, it was time for us to take the bride into the hut. Okay, you see how she's glowing. And then the uncles, aunties, mothers were already seated down, waiting for us to come in so the in-laws come also. <laughs> So guys, it was Saturday morning, Friday night went well. We spent one hour, 30 minutes during the negotiation time in the house. Everything went successfully. And yeah, we thank God for everything. You guys saw how they called. They're not supposed to walk. They're supposed to call respecting the mother-in-law's house. And you guys can see this early morning. Everyone is busy doing something to put things together before the big function, the party time, the celebration. Aunties, friends, um, girlfriends, wives to be, everybody is here busy, at least doing something to see that things get done on time. So first, like they say, together we stand. That is Diana, one of our best friends, with Amia. They come around to help, support, guys. And here, aunties, wives-to-be, 
ready wise friends the hair plucking bob removing both from the stems by the way like you can see he looks a bit a lot so they're doing it they're going to cook what they call bo with eggs it's a green sauce here in northern uganda it's very delicious i think i've ever cooked it in one of my videos and some of the bo that has already been plucked is here sprayed waiting to remove the soil and of course cooking is going on so guys this morning the mother-in-law has to present her food to the in-laws but this one here is for the main function this is a catering team that was hired to cook for the main function we had two catering services one was actually in cooking for the vip and then one this other one is called santa i think something something i'll get the name and then i'll get back to you guys but the other side where i'm going is now the mother-in-law's cooking to present their food in the morning it is cultural the mother-in-law the uncle the auntie have to cook food and present to their in-laws that morning that's the first food they eat before coming for the main function yeah so this side they're cooking even there's the other side more food is being cooked by their mother-in-laws all the mothers of the girl the sisters to the mother all the women that are married in that home, they're all mother-in-laws. So they put their hands together and cook and present their food to their in-laws inside their hut where they slept. And uh, it was time for food for our home people. After doing a lot of work, they needed to get energized. They first had to eat that first food as they spare their stomach for the main, <laughs> the real, real function of food. So they're serving food you see people are still on their work clothes they were sweeping the compound um some chicken is still here alive all that chicken died guys they all <laughs> we sent them to heaven i hope they reached well in heaven <laughs> and then that's auntie lily mingling one call for the mara you guys hey you in-laws you guys are lucky mm? i'm even show you guys behind the scene how the one call you guys it was made mm? hmm. i think you guys are one of the most luckiest in-laws see how auntie lily is mingling this thing with a lot of love she's so happy Panang. i hope our in-laws see this video just yeah, see after seeing they should add us more because eh? <laughs> And wow, the awaited time is here. The mother-in-law with all her friends and all her sisters taking the food. I've built this video because of copyright, but you guys, the music. See how auntie is tongoring the letter, you guys. I just wish there was no copyright. So you guys can listen to the what? To the music. It was so nice. Everyone was joyful. It is. This is around 10 a.m. in the morning. So they're done presenting the food. They're now coming back to the compound where the music was playing from. And you can see that is called Och. In actually, we call it Och. I don't know how it's called in English. Please let me know in the comment section how you do it in your communities. But for us, we do that when people are happy. We dance to the music. We celebrate with each other. Especially when dower is brought. That point, eh? Hmm? That is the time people enjoy so much. So yeah, they're enjoying. That is aunties, daughters-in-law. In actually, all daughters-in-law are in uh, Amaros. <laughs> in the presence of the, uh, the in-laws from the other side, all daughters-in-laws are Maros. I don't know what whether what I've just said makes sense, but you guys just enjoy seeing them dancing without the music because of copyright. Everybody's just enjoying in their own way. I just wish I was here to enjoy, but I was busy somewhere because we had committees, so every committee member had to handle that task very well. So I was busy <laughs> in the catering committee. I was the head chef, so... I was busy supervising the kitchen. I didn't want burnt food. 
uncooked rice for our people, uh, had meat. I didn't want such kind of things, so I was busy supervising in the kitchen. I made sure the food was on point, and thank God, <laughs> the food came out very nice. So I'm proud of all the catering. On behalf of the catering committee of this marriage, we did it. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are the best. People had energy to dance because they ate good food, and yeah. Thank you so much. So, after these people dance, uh huh, there comes the bride. She's the young. Look at that beautiful, actually, girl. Mm hmm. That is a pure piece herself. <laughs> she was so happy. We were so happy that she's happy. And she's busy asking me where the uncle is. I told her the uncle is the other side. I think her husband sent her to look for the uncle. So, straight, she's running to where I told her the uncle is. And she's going there and mm, aunt is bringing her food. She's running. She's running. She can't even dance properly because she feels like she's late taking her food to her in-laws. She's busy running. The front one, this, uh, how do I call this color? That color. She's the auntie. And then her sisters, her daughters-in-law are busy escorting her to present her food to in-laws also you guys what a culture so nice so beautiful everything is just oh my god <sighs> i want to be an actually again and again when you see this kind of things the music you guys the music but that was on the background oh my god copyright has killed us mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's watch auntie present her food to her son-in-laws Whatever in-laws, all the people from Kidgum who came were our in-laws. So, ah, you guys, just enjoy. How I wish the music was on, but no. Mm -hmm. After receiving food, how do you feel to shake? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, in actually, the marriage is for two days. Friday.